this morning. My name is Ari Salopanis. I am a Territory Account Manager here at Storage Craft Asia Pacific. And today we're going to talk about Enterprise Disaster Recovery. So, of course, the name of the game today is demonstrating how to achieve Enterprise Disaster Recovery for any size organization with our coveted Head Start Restore technology. So, what does Head Start Restore enable you to do? Well, essentially, it enables you to have any and all of your or your client's critical servers pre-staged as a standby virtual machine, which you can finalize and spin up into full production uh, nearly instantly in the event of a disaster, which will ensure that the organization is up and running as quickly as possible into full production. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So Head Start Restore is something that is utilized within our automated image management tool, which is called Storage Craft Image Manager. And this is a free piece of technology that works hand in hand with uh, Shadow Protect to uh, manage the images. It will perform verification on the images. It will notify you if there are any issues with the images. And it will also perform consolidation of those images to ensure you have a clean and concise chain and can restore as quickly as possible. And there's also a couple of other features, including replication that you can achieve with Image Manager, and of course, Head Start Restore, which is what we're going to be discussing. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start managing a folder of backup, which I would like to be pre-staged for a Head Start Restore job. I'm going to go into our iDrive, which is our Backup and Disaster Recovery Appliance, or BDR Appliance. And I'm going to go into my backups and select my exchange server, for example, which is one of my most critical servers. And I'm going to start managing this folder. So I'll, as you can see, it's verifying the backups to start off with. It's starting from the uh, base image, and it'll work its way through the other images. And to set up a Head Start Restore job, it, it's as easy as following the wizard. So I click on Add a Head Start Restore job. The first thing I need to do is uh, give it a name. So I'll just keep it, keep it as Head Start Restore of a VX01 demo. It'll allow you to select the type of what um, virtual machine you'd like to create. You can create a VMDK for a VMware environment. You can go into VXD for Hyper-V. And this current version of Image Manager, you can also select the volume option. And the volume option enables you to perform a Head Start Restore into an empty NTFS volume or an empty raw volume. And you can use the Windows Disk Management to create either of these two. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to perform VMDK and VHD for VMware and Hyper-V. <coughs> so now we're going to set up our destination, which is where we're going to put this uh, virtual machine. You can choose to either do it on a local drive, you can do it uh, somewhere in the local network, or you can actually push it into a VMware ESX or ESXi host server. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to put it on a local drive of the machine that I'm currently using. I'm going to select the location where I'd like to put it. Now you can browse out for a new location if you like, which is easy. But um, because I already have a destination set up, I'm going to go straight to our Head Start Restore volumes. And I'm going to give it a subdirectory. I'm going to call it VMware because I'm doing a VMDK. So, and now we get down to the lag time. So essentially what the lag time is, is it ensures that uh, because Head Start Restore will automatically push images into the standby VM, you want to ensure that there is a lag time because if there is a corruption or a virus on that server, you don't want the images to be pushed in straight away because if it takes you an hour or two to actually notice it, then it, it could potentially get corrupted. And so the lag time, you can set to however long you want. We find most people find six hours to be a decent lag time. So I'm going to keep it at six hours. Now the last step of this process is simply to add a new Head Start Restore volume, which simply means you need to locate the backup image. Um, it'll work off the full image, and because this image is encrypted, I will enter the password into this box, hit OK, and I'm going to hit Save, and this should all work. There we go. So now we've got the Head Start Restore job all set up. It's already started restoring the first image, which is our full image, into that virtual machine. And so if I go into my directory, into my backup and disaster recovery appliance, go into my Head Start Restore volumes, as you can see, the VMware subdirectory is here for me. 
and we have the virtual machine here. And it's going to keep building up the more it gets restored. So once everything is all caught up and the machine is fully synced to my backup, it's all ready to go for the finalization. So now that this is in progress, of course, you'll let it catch up and eventually it will be synced so it's exactly the same as the backups. And now, of course, to achieve enterprise level disaster recovery, in the event of a disaster on your server, all you need to do is come into Image Manager. You can click the tick to finalize this job. And then once you finalize the job, of course, you can then use the recovery environment to apply any other incremental images to the virtual machine, if you like, which doesn't take any more than a matter of minutes. And then you can finalize the restore, and you'll have the machine up and running ultra fast. And it's into full production, mind you. It's not a temporary solution. We're talking a full production enterprise level disaster recovery of any server in a really, really short time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how to do that for Hyper-V, for example. Um, and it's essentially the same thing. Give it a name. Select the VHD option, of course, because we're going into Hyper-V. I'm also going to select the local drive, the same destination. And instead of, I'm going to call the subdirectory Hive Path V. Set the lag time to six hours. And select that Head Start Restore volume. Save. So now, simple as that. That's how easy it is to set up. Now all you have to do is wait, and Head Start Restore will do the rest. It will make sure all the images are pushed into that virtual machine, which is on standby, and ensure you have a VMDK or a VHD there for you to do an ultra-fast disaster recovery. So once again, take you into our disaster recovery appliance, head start restore volumes. We have our subdirectory and our virtual hard disk, which is set up here. And remember, this doesn't have to be a local drive, just for the purposes of this demo. I'm demonstrating it on a local drive. You can, of course, push this across the network, or you can even push it into, into a host. For example, if you're performing a VMware migration, you can push it straight into a ESX or an ESXi hypervisor. So, um, and of course, we're doing that enterprise-level disaster recovery. But another actual function of, Im of Image Manager and Head Start Restore, which is really, really important, and is something that a lot of people don't recognize, is that this tool can be used for migrations. It's actually a very powerful migration tool. Because um, all you really need to do is, if you have a certain amount of physical servers, for example, to go into a virtual environment, all you need to do is get some Head Start Restore licenses, set up HSR jobs for each of those servers, and as soon as the status is, is fully synced and all, all the images are the same on this Head Start Restore job and the original backup chain, all you need to do is power off the original machine, finalize the HSR job, use the recovery environment to apply any other changes, and finalize the restore. And there you have it. The migration is complete, and it's ultra-fast. It's, it's essentially like a fast-track restore, because instead of having to push all those images across, they're already there. And it's a continuous process that ensures that your restore is as quick and as smooth as possible into a virtual environment. So not simply for enterprise disaster recovery, but also for physical to virtual migrations, this tool can prove invaluable. So that's Head Start Restore, guys. Uh, of course, as, as the main theme of this demonstration, uh, it enables you to have any, any critical service. And this is for an, any organization, whether they're SMB or SME or enterprise, to have the ability to have your servers pre-staged into this environment to ensure that uh, the recovery can be as quick and as smooth as possible. Okay, so that's pretty much everything, guys. And don't forget, of course, the migration capabilities of Head Start Restore are also very powerful. In fact, you can, you can migrate um, large amounts of servers in a relatively short time. It's amazing how, how quickly it works in that respect. So definitely something that we advise that you take a look at and then look further into. Excellent. So that's pretty much everything, guys. Thank you very much for attending this morning.